she would speak up for all those who were struggling in silence. She wanted to make sure no one ever felt alone. This was once a dream for a 16-year-old girl, a race that could inspire, bring laughter and fun, and give others, especially teens, a feeling of not being alone. This was the vision of Cameron Gallagher. I am the oldest child, so I always looked up to her as if she was my big sister, and I just thought she was the coolest person ever. But on the inside, Cameron struggled with anxiety and depression, something she worked hard to overcome. But in March of 2014, Cameron's life was cut short. She died from an undiagnosed heart condition just moments after crossing the finish line of a half marathon in Virginia Beach. 11 years later, a foundation in her name continues to raise awareness. All right, go! Through the Speak Up 5K held every September and through educational programs and speak up clubs in high schools across the country. Emma Crone started a speak up club this past year at Freeman High School. I've just had so many people come to tell me how much they love it and how it's been just such a like kind and relaxing space for them at school. Along with speak up clubs, the CKG Foundation also hopes to erase the stigma of mental health through the help of social influencers. Like VCU's Joe Bamisil, a standout point guard for the men's basketball team, who's not only made headlines as a star athlete, but as a voice for those struggling with mental health challenges. As I continue to age, it's becoming clearer and clearer how important it is for people to take care of their mental health. And as most things in life, the younger you start, the easier it is to take care of your own self and the people around you. Bamisil, a Monacan High School graduate, started experiencing severe isolation and anxiety after transferring from Virginia Tech to George Washington University. While therapy gave him a new start at the University of Oklahoma, a serious health issue with his dad brought him to Richmond. And it's here, among his VCU teammates, that he's found the most inner peace through reflection and meditation. By the time I hit 20, I, um, I got to a place where I really started taking strides as a person that I didn't have before, and it, now I do it every day. It's so worthwhile. It's, I love to try to share it with other people and continue to just try to touch people in a positive way. Bama Sill developed an app called Monda, meaning mantra and mind, a place where people can meditate, receive affirmations, and connect to others. This month, the app expanded to become even more interactive. Yeah, I've had a, a few people who have either contacted me on the phone or I've met in person, and they've talked about how the app and meditation and being connected to other people has actually been very transformative for them. And that kind of stuff gives me motivation to like keep going forward. Whether on the court, with friends and family, or even alone, Bamisil is a force. You know, deepening my faith in God and relying on that um, when I got here really allowed me to just lean into like, wow, this is good. Like, I can continually come back to this. And through their connection to the CKG Foundation, both Bamisil and Crone hope they'll be a comfort to someone who needs it. I really love it. And being able to be that person to carry on Cameron's message means a lot to me. The 11th annual Speak Up 5K will be held this Saturday at Bird Park. The foundation expects more than 2,000 runners, walkers, as well as volunteers. Reporting in Richmond, Tracy Sears, CBS 6 News.